If you plan on hunting your puppy and you want to make sure that you recover game and conserve that game, you want to make sure that your puppy knows how to use their nose, stay focused on the scent, and concentrate. Hey guys, Kat here from Standing Stone, and I'm going to be working with Hex today on his natural ability tracking practice. If you don't plan on testing your puppy through the natural ability test, that's fine. This is really great training to do anyway, because if you plan on hunting your puppy and you wanna make sure that you recover game and conserve that game, you wanna make sure that your puppy knows how to use their nose, stay focused on a scent and concentrate. To do this, we start with three steps. First, we start with a dead duck drag. Then we move on to a dead pheasant drag, and then we release a live pheasant, prepping them for ultimately what the test is going to be looking like. So to get your drag prepped, we're using a frozen dead duck that's been thawed. We're gonna pull some breast feathers and create a nice little scent pad as, and then drag that duck off about 40 paces. We wanna start uh, fairly short to make sure that our puppy has success. Uh, and we're keeping the wind in mind. So this is a nice crosswind. The wind is cro coming across this way. Uh, I've got the feathers marked, so I know where those are going to be when I bring Hex up to start this drag. And then Charles is just dragging that duck out, probably going to cross over approximately into where the cover changes and it gets a little bit thicker. Then he's going to leave the duck and he's going to leave the field on the downwind side of the track so that we have less scent confusing this situation for our young dogs that are learning how to use their nose. So once Charles gets that drug, leaves the duck, He'll come back, he'll mark my feather pile for me. I'll get Hex, bring him up to the feathers, and then show you how I'm going to keep him focused and concentrated when starting this tracking process. So if you've been following along with any of other Hex videos, you will have seen that he is a very naturally strong pointing instinct dog. Um, and when I was walking up here, he was already trying to point the cameras and then getting distracted by some grasshoppers. So this will be something that we will show how to work through if your puppy has a lot of pointing instinct. He may really get stuck on those feathers and we have to help him move past those feathers to start tracking where the actual scent is coming from. So we've got a check cord on our puppy. That way I can help him stay focused on that track and not break off into a big search right away. Um, as well as I will be able to direct him if he's trying to veer off of it. I will also get my transmitter kind of out of the way behind me so that it doesn't distract him by waving down in front of his face and my face when I'm bending over on that feather pile. So I'm going to make sure that when I'm getting him set up on this feather pile, I'm slightly downwind because if he ends up being upwind of this track, he's going to miss the scent because he's not going to be downwind of it. So keep in mind your, your um, wind as well. So I'm gonna get him set up, get him focused on those feathers. Pex, yeah, see him? Good. Yeah, smell it. Mm -hmm. Good, good, good. Take a few steps with him. Look, 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 look. Okay. Take a few more steps. Get him moving that way. Okay, look, okay. A lot of pointing instinct, which we've seen in the past. Let's go. Okay, get him moving. I can even see a feather here from the drag. Up, up. Okay. So he's being very distracted. Lots of grasshoppers moving that he's trying to point out here, um, as well as a lot of scent pointing instinct that he's got. So I'm gonna try and help him move forward 
on this track so that he can connect the dots in his mind that from that feather pile, if he follows his nose and progresses from colder scent to hotter scent where that actual duck is at, that he'll be successful. And we wanna make sure that these puppies are successful in this process, but we wanna show him that, hey, if you follow your nose and track along this scent path, you're going to ultimately come up with the prize, which is the duck in this situation. Okay, okay, good. Come on, because he needs to be able to move on this track. Come on, nothing to see there. Come on, Hex, come on, good, come on. Look, go. Okay, go. And there's our pee that I was trying to get out of him before the track. Also a pro tip, if you can get your dog to go to the bathroom before you start this track where they need to be focused and concentrated, even better. Let's go. Look, look, look. Good boy, get it, get it, get it. At a boy. Good boy, Hex. That's so good. He's got his duck. Yeah, buddy. Come on, Hexter. The good puppy. So we built on him, continuing to move forward that momentum, as well as he was successful finding that duck at the end of the drag, which is ultimately what we want. What a good boy. Good boy. That's his prize. That's what he earned. Come here, buddy. Hops. Bring it to me, buddy. Good buddy. Good. So proud. Good boy. Good job. So this shows me that he is going to need some more practice with duck drags. We're not ready to move on to the next step, which is going to be a pheasant drag, because we need to make sure that he is moving forward on his own without me having to be there every step of the way. Is it okay to help him in the beginning, step forward, move forward? Yes, and then that lets him know that at the test, if they ask you to move up, that will help him understand that he also needs to move up and expand that search or that um, track, looking and smelling for that bird. Um, but ducks have a lot of scent, which is why we start with a duck drag. And we wanna make sure that he understands if he follows that very strong smell, doesn't get distracted, with grasshoppers and pointing that scent along the way, it's going to lead him to the ultimate prize, which is the down game, which is this duck in this situation. So we're gonna do some more of these drags as practice, and then we'll show what the next step looks like with, like I mentioned, the dead pheasant drag. So he did really well, honestly, for his first track. He didn't break out and search. He was very focused, very methodical, but we need to get him comfortable moving away from us and continuing that momentum of following that drag until he gets to the bird. So thanks guys for watching. I'm Kat the Dog Trainer. This is Hex and we'll see you in his next video.